Hello everybody, Mr. Pilgrim here coming at you with the next video in our Platinum Trophy Guide for Fallout 4. This will be part 3, officially picking up where we left off as we just rescued Nick Valentine, gotten all 20 magazines needed for the Well Red Trophy, as well as joining every faction that you can in the game, getting you all of those trophies. Now eventually we will be going back to the castle, don't worry about that, and we'll pick up the quest there. But for now, we're going to do the main quest. So in Diamond City, you'll go to Nick's office. You'll do the little interview. You'll go over to Kellogg's house specifically. Now, if you're level 20 like I am, you should be able to have master lock picking done, and you can easily find the key to that, or just lock pick into the house. And in his little desk on the side inside, there is a switch leading you to a secret room. You'll then need to use dog me to follow a trail using cigars that will eventually have you all the way over here at Fort Height or Fort sorry Fort Higgin my bad so along the way you'll have to find like I said cigars there will also be some bloody bandages that can be very not indirectly your face and you'll miss it but dog meat will normally lead you directly to them and eventually you'll end up here you'll have to go through the roofs you have to go around in the back and avoid the turrets or take them out your choice then you'll have to go through, you'll finally confront Kellogg, and then when you come back outside, the Brotherhood of Steel will come back. You'll then need to have a discovered Good Neighbor, which will be somewhere right here. Um, that will become a important thing that you'll have to do in the next step after this, allowing you to get, I believe, two more trophies related to main story missions. So I'm going to defeat Kellogg, show you the cool scene of when we come out of Fort Hagen and then when we're going to the memory den trust me most of the stuff I want you to try and experience for yourself the memory den part I will explain it's long and boring when we get to it alright one small note while you're here in Fort Hagen before you actually make it to uh, Kellogg you'll come to this specific area here and there'll be a cafeteria on your left. So if you come into this cafeteria and come into here, you can find the energy weapons bobblehead. Yes. Pretty cool, especially if you have the Righteous Authority from doing the um, mission with Paladin Dance and get the Righteous Authority legendary weapon. Pretty cool. Alright, so after everything, you'll have to go back to Diamond City, you'll talk to Piper, go through some of that dialogue, then you'll have to come to Good Neighbor, and then you'll have an interaction if you haven't already done it. Um, you'll then be able to get Piper as a companion, but we're not going to focus on companions just yet. We basically have almost all that we need that we can collect, but for now, uh, once you're in Good Neighbor, you'll have to come here to the Memory Den, you'll talk to a chick, You'll go down, you'll go through a dreamlike sequence. There is a magazine in the bottom area that the dream sequence kind of takes place in. But after all that is done, we're going to be coming back and then we're going to be focusing on getting some bobbleheads and doing some quests and unlocking some companions along the way. So I'll see you once this is all done. Alright, so now after doing the memory din and all that, you'll unlock the mission called the Glowing Sea to find Virgil and all that. But we're going to wait. Like I said, we want to start working on some of those quests. So now I think it's possible to do the Parson State Insane Asylum and then start Bunker Hill. I'll go through all that. If you don't want to do that just yet, you can always do the next the best thing and come here to Vault 81 just right around the bend from Diamond City. But I figured you guys will do Vault 81, it's a lot easier to do. So see you there. Alright, so once you make it to Vault 81, what you actually have to do to even gain access is to hand them 
three fusion cores. It's not too terrible. Probably by now you should have enough of them to spare. If you're not really using a power armor suit like I have been, then you should be just fine. But once you do that, you can eventually start working on some of the major quests that you'll need to do. Come on, Win. My guys have been working doubles for weeks now. But eventually you'll want to go down and talk to Everyone's the doctor right now, in the living area. Just do the best with what All right, so what you want to do when you finally come downstairs is if you come over here into the barber shop right here on this little bench right here, there'll be a taboo tattoo you can pick up just in case you want to collect them all. Then if you follow the path that I take over to this side residential area, you can come down here and you'll find the clinic right here. Welcome. Welcome. This guy will want to take some of your blood. I hope I'm not being presumptuous. Would you mind donating some medical samples? Even just a blood sample? Sure, you can have Excellent. Just have a seat, and I'll draw some blood. What do you, what do you want me to sit, Doc? Like right here? Is this okay? This will only take a sec. Alright. But basically, you'll want to do that. Then wait a bit of time so you'll exit the vault. Then you'll want to hardly heard a bit, eh? like wait Thank two you. days. This will be a great help. Now, then you'll just come I back. Need to get these prepared immediately. So I'll see you once we come back. All right. So if you're having trouble with the quest popping up, basically what you have to do is you have to come into the reactor room. Now, if you want to earn another Grognak book, if you go into the classroom, talk to the teacher, then tell the kids a story, you you'll get a new book, and it'll allow you to do 5% critical damage with melee and unarmed weapons. But basically what you want to do is you want to come down here, and there'll be these two cousins or relatives talking to each other. And you're basically just going to want to talk to the guy eventually, and then you're going to want to... I don't know if you have to start the cat quest, but there's a little girl you can find, and she'll ask you to find her lost cat. You can then go outside the vault, wait like an hour, I believe, then come back in, and you can find the cat fairly easily. And then you can also complete that, go back to the doctor, and then he should come into the doctor explaining that um, there's a kid that's sick and needs help. So if that, I believe that's the best way of doing it. But we're going to skip to when that is done. If you want to look up the exact full details of the quest, there are better guides than what I could make for it. But right now, we're just focusing on doing this to get another companion and another bobblehead. So we're going to skip to when that finally triggers. Now, one small side note is while you're outside waiting, if you happen to get the vendor Cricket to show up, she'll sell you a very, really awesome, amazing SMG called Spray and Pray that the bullets deal 15 points of area of effect damage on top of whatever damage it already does and it can shred through power armor anything in the game if you have the right setup so I might as well should mention that while we're here now we're gonna move on like I said do the cat quest so from the reactor room if you actually head back up and then take a right it'll be the second room there will be a specific mr. giddy up and that'll be where um, she is located so yeah Alright, so once you complete the cat quest, you should hear some chatter about someone getting bit by a mole rat. So when you come here into the office, you'll see that it will pop up, and it will be the quest called Hole in the Wall. You're basically just want to going to complete the quest, you'll find a hidden section of the vault, and then you'll find a medic, uh, Mr. Handy called Kiri, and then on the desk in her office you will find the bobblehead. I'm going to skip to that now, hope not ruining any part of the quest, but there is going to be a bunch of mole rats to deal with, so free meat, free food, awesome. Gonna need a lot of healing for the next uh, bobblehead that we go after so I'm gonna switch to that now all right so once you make it to this area you can in the nicest term lie to Kiri to get her to open the door and once you come inside you can see right here you can find the medicine bobblehead stim packs will now permanently deal 10% more damage as well as being here I also recommend grabbing Kiri and bringing her with you She's my favorite companion, but you're allowed to pick who you want. 
Now we're going to move on to the next bobblehead that we can work on. This will also allow us to get another companion right next to them as well. So, yay! Alright, so the next bobblehead that you're going to want to get is at the Boston Public Library. We're go next going to be going to the Trinity Plaza for the next one and another companion. But for now, coming in here is convenient because it's close by. So you'll have this big area. Do be careful. Most of the enemies here do hurt a lot. Especially the Protectrons. They definitely beefed them up for this game. But for the bobblehead, if you come back over here, come into this back room, hop over the railing, and you'll have the Intelligence Bobblehead. Pretty cool. Alright, so the next area that you want to go to is going to be the Trinity Tower. It'll be just east of the Boston Library. You'll see it right there. But you're basically going to make your way all the way up top. It's filled with super mutants, and it's kind of a maze-like area, but it's linear, so you'll be able to eventually navigate all the way to the very top, and that's where you're going to find the next companion and the next bobblehead. Now I'm just going to skip to that specific section, because it is a lot of fighting, and there's a lot of looting, and it's going to take a lot of time to get up there, so I'll see you when we're up there. Alright, so once you've made it to the top, you can find the key or just lockpick using a master lockpicking skill. If you don't have that, you can always find the key in the trunk and then come over here. You'll then want to come over here and you'll find the melee bobblehead. Pretty cool. Now from here, you're going to have to ride down on a... Um, forget the term for it but I believe it's considered just accept it there we there we go it's what they um, use whenever they're like cleaning the windows and stuff like that on the outside of buildings I can't remember what the term for it is, but you'll have to ride that down just over here, as you'll see. Now, you will need a weapon, so Righteous Authority should be good to go as your main bread and butter. If you have a better ranged weapon, you can always use that too. But for now, we're now going to finally go and do the Asylum quest. So I'll see you once we've cleared all the guards, and we will then be at Bunker Hill. So... Remember that. Go there, take out all of the guards, you'll then go to Bunker Hill, and then that's how you can start the quest. Alright, so once you make it to Bunker Hill, you'll want to find this guy. He's very specific. He'll say he wants to have a conversation with you, and this will eventually, this will start the quest line for the Cabot House, and then eventually doing the Did quests and eventually what? going into my the my Parson State Asylum. Your nose into my business. So for the sake of speeding things up, you'll want to, like I said, you you should be powerful enough now to go and deal with the guards outside. Come here, talk to him. He'll then send you to the Cabot House. You have to do a few quests, and then you'll end up at the asylum fighting off waves of enemies and stuff like that who are trying to take over. And I'm going to skip to when we're there as it's a very specific room that has the bobblehead. I believe it's on the second floor. So just to quick summary of everything that I'm about to skip from here to now so just be wary of that all right so after doing a couple of missions for the Jack Cabot and all that you will then eventually have to come back to Parson State you go inside there will be a bunch of enemies to fight and you'll eventually loop around to finding Deegan in the main office and that's where you're going to find the bobblehead I don't think I can get up just right here the charisma yes. bobblehead pretty cool now also while you're here there's going to be a big room that has like a trunk a bunch of turrets in it and stuff like that you can find a magazine in there so be careful not to use explosives and now we're going to move on to the next bobblehead that you can get so i'll see you then Alright, so the next place you'll find a bobblehead and also a magazine that can come in handy whenever you're trying to level up uh, is going to be at Saugus Ironworks. It's just going to be a little south of Parson State Insane Asylum, right below the slog. 
Slog is actually going to be a pretty important place um, for uh, Mutt Fruit, which will come into play in a later uh, video probably. But for now, in Saga Ironworks, do be careful as they like to use um, flamethrowers and Molotov cocktails a lot. It's normally a level 20 area. You can try and speed run to this area at the very start of the game to grab the bobblehead and the picket fences magazine, but I do not recommend it. So when you come in here, you're basically just going to eventually make your way to the giant forge. There's going to be a dude being held hostage and all that. And in that area, I'm going to go through, kill everybody and all that, you know, good stuff, and then show you where you can find the bobblehead and the magazine. Alright, so once you're here, you'll have to help de-escalate, you'll fight everybody, except for the one guy, you'll be a cool good dude, and right here you'll find the explosive bobblehead, and then if you look down right here, you can find the picket fences, allowing you to build statues, which requires copper, which you can get super fence of, and stuff like that. So now we're going to move on to the next place, so I'll see you once we're there. Now, a small note in between all of this is that um, eventually if you come back and talk to Preston Garvey, he'll say that the people at the castle have been trying to get a hold of us. So you eventually get the old guns quest, and you'll want to do that because that will also give you a trophy as well. I believe a silver one. But now we're going to continue with getting the rest of the bobbleheads. So this next area will take us right next to the castle. So if you want to grab this bobblehead, then go back and do the old guns. I, you know, might as well, right? Alright, so just a little southeast from the castle, you'll find the Spectacle Island, and on the south end of that island, you will find a boat. On the boat will be the Luck Bobblehead. Hell yeah. Increase your luck by one. Now, there is one last thing I will talk about, and that is you can kill another Myrler Queen while you're here. So if you are here on the boat on the bottom, you will flip open and activate this Circuit Breaker, and she will spawn. Now, if you aren't prepared, there is a fat man located right here that you can use to take her out. So, that'll be two out of the five needed. Pretty cool. So now we're going to move on to the next location, which is just a little bit more south, right around here. So, I'll see you then. Alright, so the next bobblehead can be found at the wreck of the FMS Northern Star. While you're here, you can also get two expert computer terminals, one on each side of the boat when you get on top. One will be when you first get on top, you can actually turn around and head up to the, um, I believe it's the pilot seat on that end. There will be an expert terminal. If you just deactivate the turrets, you can then come over here to this side, get this other terminal and get these spotlights two for free but while we're here if you come over here to the very tip you will find the agility bobblehead chilling right here now we're going to move on to the next bobblehead and as of now you should have gotten your first trophy for collecting 10 bobbleheads out of the 20. all right here at poseidon energy be careful there's a lot of enemies using the snub nosed 44 revolvers that hurt a lot uh, in the main building, you will find in the room where you find Cuddy, who is in power armor, you will find the next bobblehead. You will also find a magazine just next to it. It's a pretty hard area to miss. Yes. You'll get the endurance bobblehead and then a yes. Tesla science. Pretty cool. If you're wondering where the room is, um, it's kind of in the center of everything. So it's yeah, on the medium level in the, the middle yes. and all of that. So now we're going to move on to the next one, which will be quite a chore. Quite a chore indeed. All right, so the next bobblehead that you can find will be kind of at the top of the mass fusion building. You'll go in and you'll have to just walk your way up and eventually you will find yourself at this specific area here with the statue. And I'm sure, as you just seen, it's slightly hidden on this little edge right here. Yes. Pretty ingenious, as I remember when I was first playing through the game, I ha cleared this whole area out, thought there was nothing else, and then I was told I had to come all the way back up here to grab this. I was, I was dumbfounded by how I just missed it. Just, it was right there. Now we're going to move on to the next one. Alright, so the next bobblehead that you'll want to get is in Pigman's Gallery. After going through, clearing out all the raiders, and going down into the tunnels, eventually you'll find Pikmin and you'll save him, or you can let them kill him. Your choice, if you save him, he'll give you a key to a unique weapon, I believe. I think it's a knife. 
Anyways, in this lower area where you find and save Pikmin, you will find this trash can here, and you will find the lockpicking bobblehead. Alright, so the next bobblehead that you can get is in Vault 75, right next to the old Gullet sinkhole. If you've been following the guide, then you should have already had that place discovered. To get to Vault 75, you do have to go a little south of the sinkhole into Malden Middle School, go into the basement, and boom, there you go. To get to the bobblehead, you'll have to go through the vault. You'll get a quest for the vault specifically, which will help guide you through it, as you'll have to find specific key cards to access certain areas. You just need to get the lab key card, and then it'll lead you to getting the admin key card. And right when you can get the admin key card, you'll be in this room right here. There will be a guy right here you have to take out who will have the key card, and right on the desk you will find the nice. science bobblehead. Pretty cool. Now going to move on to the next bobblehead to get. Alright, so the next bobblehead you can find is in Vault 95 here in the lower left corner of the map. Uh, from the main room once you go down the elevator, do be careful as there are a lot of gunners and tough enemies here that want to kill you. But anyways, if you come over here to the right and follow the path that I take, you can easily find the Big Guns bobblehead. So you'll come down here, you'll come once through the broken wall, turn right. You'll know because it'll have that little barricade. Come into this right room, and it's right here on the radio. Big Guns bobblehead. Alright, the next bobblehead that we'll get is at Adam Cat's garage. It'll be located in this main little thing right on the hood of the car. Pretty easy to find. Moving on. Alright, so the next bobblehead can be found on the south end of the map at Gunner's Plaza. When you come inside, you'll basically just want to follow the path that I take. And this will lead you right to the room. You will need master lockpicking. But if you're already as if you're following the guide like I am, or that I am showing you, then you should be leveled enough. And it is right here on the table, small guns bobblehead. Also, one quick note is if you happen to have a wounding weapon, you can bleed robots. Who knew? All right. So the next location that you can find a bobblehead at is the Dunwich Borers. You're going to want to make your way down as there are a lot of raiders before you even enter the place and then there's going to be a mixture of raiders and ghouls. You'll eventually have this weird like hallucination by interacting with the door. Then shortly after that you'll come to this specific area, pretty hard to miss, be big and open. You'll find this terminal here on our right and then you'll find the sneak bobblehead. Alright and the last and final bobblehead is at Longneck Lukowski's cannery. From the inside, there are no hostile enemies here, you'll just come inside, just act like you own the place, walk to this back area here, you'll then want to come up, stairs, hang a right, hang another right and head up these stairs, and basically just follow this path around. You'll have a master lock to do right there, you'll get a free terminal right there. And then if you follow this around, you will find the last bobblehead sitting on this terminal. Excellent. And then you get yourself a free Tales of a Junktown Jerky Vendor as well. Now that is going to do it for this video, but I will see you all in the next one.